Hey, what's up? Don't click away. Today I'm going to show you how to tear down a Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. Hey, what's up guys? Thanks again for tuning in and checking out this episode. If this is your first time here and you guys enjoy all things tech and repair related, please make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and smack the bell so you're notified on our latest videos. If you guys have any questions, comments, or suggestions, feel free to leave them down below. And if you do need a screen repair or any type of phone repair, please visit us at www.mrphonedoctor.com or simply reach us at any of our social media platforms found here. All right, now that we got all that out of the way, what's up guys? Thanks once again for checking out this episode. So today we're actually gonna be doing a full teardown on a Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. This video will actually help you guys if you do need any type of you know camera replacement, charging port replacement, any kind of internal component that you guys need. This video will actually be a nice thorough guide for you guys to follow and replace any of those following components. So this is the actual Note 20 Ultra we're gonna be tearing down today. As you can see, this back is broken. So this one is using a glass. So just like the higher end S21, you know the higher end Note 20 is gonna be using a glass back as well. So be extra, extra careful with these because you can break your back glass. We're simply gonna be using our heating plate to help soften the adhesives. We like to use 90 degrees Celsius. Once it's nice and toasty, we can go ahead and begin removing the back glass and we'll go ahead and begin removing the internal components. So let's go ahead and begin. All right, so the device is nice and toasty. We're gonna go ahead and begin by removing the back glass. And to do so, we're actually gonna be using this clear card and some ISO 99. ISO 99 for everything, guys, okay? So I'm first gonna wanna find an entry point. So I'm gonna observe and take a look. This one's pretty beat up. You guys can see that it is all sharded up here on the edges. So I'm gonna actually just try to go in right here on these edges since it's already weak. It should be a good little entry point for me to go in on, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and put this shim right inside, just like you can see here. Add a little bit of solution. And this basically just fits right in. See that? And as I mentioned before, you do wanna be careful how deep you go in through because this does have a QI charger right around here. You never want to go deep enough to puncture or tear it, okay? And if they are broken, you know, we do typically replace them, but sometimes customers don't want to replace these, so, um, you know, we, we always are gentle when we're removing this back glass to make sure that it doesn't get any worse, especially if the customer wants to keep it. But we do let them know that sometimes with them being shattered, you know, they are going to break a little bit more because they're already, you know, broken and splintering and everything, so we do want to always disclose that to our customers. And a little bit of the alcohol goes a long way. You don't have to soak it completely. I'm just putting enough on here to get our little clear shim soaked up and we let the rest do its magic. <laughs> Let's go ahead and reveal the back plates. Looks like we still have some adhesive here. Let's we'll pull this off. And there we have it. So it is exposed. You guys can see this space camera here and the two cameras here as well. So of course, while it's nice and toasty, we're gonna wanna go ahead and uh, clean all this uh, thick glue residue that is left behind. We're gonna just go ahead and use our little rolling tool we have here. Grab the majority of this gunk. And we do want to make sure this has a nice smooth finish so whenever we do put it back together, the glass will sit nice and flush. So there we have that nice and clean. I'm gonna go ahead and just, since this one's a little extra dirty, I do want to get all these little crud's that are stuck in here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and go through with my spudger and a little dab of the ISO just to help get all this out. And you wanna do this while it's hot. You know, you can remove it from the, the, the heating plate and try to clean it, but we generally like to work on these when they're nice and toasty. 
So I'm excited to see how this flex is running. I wonder if this flex is actually attached to the uh, OLED. Because I know in the S21 video, the flex cable that runs to the OLED to the board is completely um, independent. So you can actually replace it, which is cool. So while it's warm, I'm gonna go ahead and just remove this, or I should say loosen this QI. And you can see here how the QI is right here in this area. So you wanna be very, very cautious, as I mentioned earlier, not to go too deep in here with this card. So you wanna go in about that depth and just go through and trim, trim, trim. And then, and then of course on this one, you have your 5G antenna, so you don't ever wanna go in too deep and see if you go too deep, you're gonna end up clipping right here and that's death, that's a no-no. All right, so we have this lifted up. We can go ahead and remove the device from our heating plate. We'll set it down and we'll begin removing all the back plate screws that are on it. But first, we wanna get the SIM tray out of here just so we can remove the logic board safely. Remember that if you have the SIM in here, the SIM tray, it's actually gonna keep the board from coming out, so. All right, so here's the SIM tray. So that is out. So we have a little magnet mat. This just helps keep all the screws and everything in place. We're gonna go ahead and start off by removing this top back plate. I'll just soften up all the screws or loosen up all the screws first. So those are off. Let's go ahead and remove this QI. Those are held down by these, one, two, three, four, five, six screws. So I really hope you guys are enjoying my videos. Hope you guys are doing safe out there. You guys got vaccined. I know it's uh, vac vaccination season. Everyone's getting the corona vaccine, so I hope you guys are staying safe out there. If there's anything you guys do want to see, please make sure to reach out to me. You know, leave a comment down below or, you know, send a message on Instagram or my other social media platforms. I don't really check those. Um, I have someone else checking those, but they'll relay any messages that you send to me. And I'll do my best to get to you guys, okay? We are tremendously busy, so I'm sorry if I do not answer all of your guys' questions. Okay, so that is off. Let's go ahead and just lift this up gently. Looks like this is connected. So normally I like to kill the battery first, but in this case, it looks like this is connected. And the only way to access the battery is to remove this one first, which was there. And the battery's gonna be, where's the battery? Right here, boom. So here's your QI charger back plate, and you have your battery right here, which was removed. Let's go ahead and loosen all these lower screws covering the charging port and the flex assemblies. So this teardown video, you guys could use this for pretty much all of these repairs that are coming up. You know, you can do the charging port, the cameras, um, the battery, so you could just follow this guide. As far as glass and screen replacements, um, we're gonna be doing that soon. I typically don't recommend you guys follow the, you know, our instructions on how to do the glass replacements because um, these are actually very, very delicate. It can lead to, you know, incurred costs of damaging the OLED. So um, just be careful if you guys do try that. Um, if you are trying to do this, um, check out my Podia courses. I do have some one-on-one -on -one training so I can help guide you guys and show you guys, see what you're doing wrong and give you guys some good critiques. So um, that's a good option for you guys to get a hold of me if you guys need technical assistance. Okay, so it looks like we have these removed. There's a flex here. Let's get this flex removed. There you go, and look, that just came right up, jumped right up. And it looks like the audio speaker here is included, built into this back plate. All right, so we have our battery. We have 5G antenna. There's another 5G antenna here. Let's go ahead and get these antennas removed. See that little wing lift up. And then we have this flex. This looks like it's for the OLED panel for the S Pen. We have another sub key, and then we have the uh, actual S Pen charger right here. There we go. And then we have our main flexes. These actually runs, this one runs the power from the charging port. You can see it running directly here up on top. So we'll disconnect that. And then we have our OLED flex cable. This one's running down here from the bottom all the way up on top. So let's go ahead and remove that one as well. So this one is attached. If you guys noticed in my S21 video, you can see how the this flex cable is actually independent. You can replace it. It, it snaps in with the FPC connector to the uh, actual OLED, which is weird. I'm still trying to figure out why they did that, but you know, I'll come up with some theory, some 
alien theory of why they did this. Why? Why? But it's cool, because you can replace it if you damage it. So, for all you noobs out there trying to do this, if you damage Tear the Flex, hey, you can replace it. Alright, so we have these removed. You can see here. Uh, it looks like, yeah, this one's actually directly soldered onto the the charging port here. So, um, let's go ahead and get this piece off. This is going to be another connector running. It's held on by this screw. Set that there. We can remove this gently and let's get this board out right here. So this looks like it's the microphone and it does have some other little transistors but you can see the microphone right here and you can see that this flex is actually all attached to this charging port so if you do need a charging port replacement on this one you'll have to replace this whole flex because it looks like it's all together. See that? So here's the charging port. So if you do need a charging port replaced, you'll have to replace this whole little cable assembly. All right, this actually all needs to be replaced. You can see how it's soldered right on top here. So this is like a flex solder, so this is gonna be a little more intricate. You're gonna have to use like a hot air gun to relieve this. You might be able to solder it and just replace this, but why even go through all that trouble? Just get this whole part replaced. It's, it'll save you time and hassle. Okay, so there's that. Let's go ahead and loosen up these cameras so we can go ahead and pop the logic board out. And this has a massive, massive camera, the Note 20 Ultra. Yeah, it's similar to the, you know, the, uh, what is it, the S20 Ultra. It's got that space zoom. So that's it, it looks loose. Let's see if we have a point here we can grab and just lift. Gently. There we go. So here we have her. So if you guys do have any uh, malfunctioning cameras, this is your rear camera right here. Those actually can be replaced. I'll go ahead and remove those. There's a FPC connector here on the back, this flex cable. Just go ahead and lift that up. We have that lifted up. And this one also has another two down below here. So let's go ahead and remove these and that'll dislodge this camera. So yeah, a little bit adhesive, I can hear it. So it's held on by this adhesive here. So if you just gently go in with your spudger, you can lift it up and remove the camera. So here you have your your main, main monster cam. And you have your double stacked main board here. Okay, so that's pretty much that. Um, you do have your front camera assembly right here. So this can be replaced. If you do need to replace your front camera, just go ahead and uh, soften up all this adhesive. Put some heat on it, of course. Soften this up and that'll help uh, relieve that front camera. And you do have your vibrating motor right here. So vibrating motor, you know, that is replaceable. So if it's not getting any taptic feedback, you can replace this and that'll or if it's loud or making some kind of weird noise, put some glue on there and it'll help, uh, you know, help, what's it called? Um, it'll help keep it from vibrating and making a loud noise. So that's that. So the final step is gonna be to remove the battery. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this back onto my heating plate and we'll go ahead and dislodge the battery. So we're gonna wanna just go ahead and tighten it down. I like to tighten it, make sure that it doesn't wiggle while I'm prying and I'm gonna add a little bit of 99 ISO, just a thin little bead down here and right here. That just helps this soften the adhesive. And then we are gonna use our pry tool. Do wanna make sure I get right in between the frame and the battery. Just give it a little pry. Just a couple small little pries and you'll see that it just pops right out. Just like that. Doesn't require a lot of force guys, just nice and gentle, okay? But there we go, battery is removed. Go ahead and want to make sure this is all clean so when we do apply the new battery, it's nice and clean. Add a little bit of alcohol, 99. Give it a nice final little wipe down. Okay, you can see that I went ahead and just cleaned all the rest of this residue off with our towel and some ISO. We can go ahead and set this aside and we are completely done with the heating plate. So we do have the rest of the components all lined out here. So that's gonna pretty much wrap up my Note 20 Ultra teardown video, guys. It's pretty basic and I really do think you guys will be able to do it if you follow the techniques that I did. And I just hope that you guys are able to do it successfully and replace any kind of, you know, bad batteries that you may have, um, charging ports or even bad rear cameras, you know. So 
Um, if you guys enjoyed this video, please make sure you guys hit the subscribe button, leave us a thumbs up, and we'll see you guys in the next episode. I'll be doing some more glass replacements on some of the latest devices like the Note 20 Ultra and a Note 20 if we get our hands on it. So thank you guys all once again, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers.